In this week's video, I wanna show you how you can avoid a complete disaster and actually recover deleted images, videos, and files from a memory card. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I post regular photography tutorials. I like to share tips and tricks. Occasionally I do gear reviews. My videos are designed to help you get more from your digital camera so you can take better photos. So if you enjoy this video and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I hosted a photography workshop on the beach. Now, aside from it being incredibly windy, the conditions were actually ideal. The workshop was all about using filters and taking long exposures. This fantastic image was taken by Gwenda, who was one of the participants and a regular on my photography workshops. Now, I was too busy teaching to take any photos myself, but I did get some shots the next morning as some of the group stayed over and we got up really early to capture the sunrise. Now I haven't done a backup of these images, they're on the memory card, and what I'm actually gonna do now is to format the memory card. This will effectively delete the contents of the card. To do this, I press the menu button, I look for the setup menu, I select format, and as you can clearly see, the camera is just reminding me that all images on the memory card will be deleted. So I'm gonna select okay, and it's done. Now, if I press the playback button, as you can see, no images. Now, formatting a memory card is something I think you should know a bit about. So I have made a separate video all about it. I'll put a link in the description below this video, but it's not something you really wanna be doing accidentally because as I just demonstrated, it actually deletes the contents of the card, which means that my sunrise photos are gone and I did not back up that memory card. Now, there is hope because this video is brought to you by Wondershare and using their software Recover It, hopefully I can recover my images. So I've opened up the software and first thing we see is a list of folders and devices. Uh, trash, desktop, select folder, um, Macintosh HD, this is for the computer. Um, YouTube 4 is an external hard drive, that's where I wanna save the images to once I've recovered them. So the next step of course is to pop the memory card into the card reader. And once that's done, we should see another um, external drive pop up. There it is. So Nikon Z6. So it's recognized the drive. So that's a really good start. And this is the drive, of course, that I want to recover the images from. So I'm going to select the drive and I'm going to select scan. Now, the software is now scanning. Over to the left is uh, tells us the percentage of the disk that is so far scanned. And as this goes through the process, we should see folders or hopefully see folders popping up on the left hand side of the screen. Now this process may take a little while. So while it's doing this, I'm actually gonna go and make myself a cup of tea. Now whilst the software is doing its thing, let me just talk you through some of the things Recoverit can help you with. Recoverit is an all-in-one data recovery service and it's not just for photos. You can recover a huge range of different file types and formats, including video, emails and music files across a range of different devices such as memory cards, external drives, USB sticks and more. The software will work on Windows or Mac and is free to download and try for yourself. So for more information, check out the link in the video description. Now to save you time, I'm going to speed this part of the video up. Now you can see the progress here and the number of files that have so far been found. Now a great feature of the software is that as files are found, you can actually view thumbnail previews of the files. This means that I can start going through and selecting the ones that I want to recover even before the software has finished scanning. Okay, so the scan is completed and 661 files have been found. A mixture of photos, both JPEG and RAW files, and some video files as well. Now, just to clarify, at this stage, the files are found, but have not yet been recovered. So I'm simply selecting the images that I want to recover. And of course, they're going to be the sunrise images that I talked about at the beginning of the video. And once again, let's speed the video up to save some time. 
So having chosen my images, all I need to do now is click on the recover button in the bottom right hand corner, choose where I want the images to be saved to and we're good to go. So I've recovered 91 files. Of course, I could have recovered many more, but all I really wanted were the sunrise images. And here they are. So now I'm going to select one image, edit in Lightroom and show you the result. So here's one of my favorite images from the morning. Now, incidentally, the photographer was not part of our group. He chose to set his camera up right in front of mine, which although initially was a little bit annoying, I chose to make the best of the situation and actually include him in the composition. And as it turns out, I quite like it. And here's another one with some of the locals heading out for an early morning surf. Now, if you want to try and recover it for yourself, it is absolutely free to download and I've included a link. You'll find it in the video description down below this video. I want to say a big thank you to Wondershare for supporting my channel. I want to say thank you to you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It does help the channel grow. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. I do try to put out new videos every single week. All that's left to do is to say once again, Thank you and hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.